Welcome to our special program tonight, folks. And I do be a special program. Ray White on guitar, cowbell, and vocals. Patrick O'Hearn on electric bass and little teeny puckered lips. Little skinny Terry Ted Bozio on drums, and he will eat anything. And of course, Edwin Jobson on keyboards and violin. And nice white arms and ashes down the front of his clothes. And, and me with a song about your feet. In the dark, where all the fevers grow, under the water, where the shark bubbles blow, in the morning, by your radio, do the walls close in the suffocation, you ain't got no friends, and all the others that hate you, this is the life you've been leading, you gotta go, now tell the truth. Let me straighten you out. Not a place I know. Now get your shoes and socks on, people, because it's literally right around the corner. Out through the night and the whispering breeze, to the place where they keep the imaginary diseases. Out through the night and the whispering breeze, to the place where they keep the imaginary diseases. Call this stupid disease bromidrosis, and well they should. But us regular folks who might wear a tennis shoe or an occasional python <laughs> know of this exquisite little inconvenience by the name of stank part. Yes, that's very true. Hey, listen, buddy, if you're gonna sell t-shirts, don't do it in the middle of the concert. Take them outside someplace. <laughs> Anybody else who's walking around the audience with t-shirts, get the fuck out of here. That pisses me off! I didn't know such things existed. A guy walking in front of the stage with a fucking t-shirt to sell to somebody. Well, you live and learn. Scientists call these t-shirts bromidrosis, and well they should, but us regular folks who might wear a tennis shoe or an occasional buy that boot, know this exquisite little inconvenience by the name of commercialism. You know, my python boot was too tight, couldn't get it off last night. A week went by, and now it's July, finally got it off, and my girlfriend cried, you got steak foot. Stink foot bothers me. Your stinking foot puts the hits on my nose. Stink foot, stink foot, I ain't lying. Can you rinse it off, do you suppose? Now this is the first, this is the first sterling example of real live Detroit style audience participation. Let's get ready for this. This is going to be one of the big ones. It's very simple, you know. A lot of people that do rock and roll shows want to get the audience involved and they ask them to do hard things like keeping time for the music. We're not going to do that. All we need is a girl, we need a girl, maybe several girls, who will actually kiss this ugly son of a bitch right here, just put their mouth right on the end of this stinking replica blue foot. Do we have, and I know we do, right there on the corner, just looking at you, the way you're dressed, the way your hair is, the way your glasses are tastefully poised on the top of your head, your lips are destined to come in intimate contact with this foot. What do you say? You, you say no? Of course you say no. They always say no at first. Are you ready? Now there. 
there's a girl with good taste. You know what I mean? I'm gonna give you one more chance to redeem yourself. Perhaps, perhaps you're just entirely too well groomed to actually, yes, that's what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, share. Well, we'll put the foot away momentarily because we have some important things to show you. Many of these things that you'll see tonight are actually sick! The first mistake was roughly entitled, The Poodle. Check him out. Our guest poodle tonight is Frenchie. No one, God, say hi to Frenchie if you don't mind. All right. When God first decided to build the poodle, Actually, it was a mistake because he wanted to build a schnauzer. He did fuck up. He knows it now. He did fuck up with the poodle. The original poodle had hair evenly distributed all over its small, piquant, charming, canine-type body. Then God made these other two mistakes. Mistake number two was man. Mistake number three was woo man. Woo man has always been extremely clever even since the olden days. And man has always been extremely stupid, even since the olden days. And any woo man will tell you that. Of course, that's not the problem with the poodle. The woo man looked at the poodle with lust in her heart. She wanted to find a way to appreciate, to find a deeper appreciation of the poodle's snout area. However, she did not wish to do this with poodle hair sticking out all over the place. No, 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 that would have been too common. The poodle of her dreams had to have a disco look, and so she devised the plan. 
She turned to the man and she said, Sucker, go get a job. And the man got up off of his booty, left the, gar the Garden of Eden, went out, got a job pushing a broom for about $1.298 an hour. And then he came back and gave the money to the Wu man, who immediately took the money, left the Garden of Eden herself, and went to the nearest hardware store to purchase some scissors, some clippers, and a pair of zircon-encrusted tweezers. That's right. She came back, and she did a J-O-B on the D-O-G. She cleaned off his B-A-C-K, his T-H-O-R-A-X, his T-U-M, T-U-M, and here, right in this area near Flint, she removed the tiny brown particles that were so unattractive in those days. Then she tweezed, she tweezed thoroughly around this area here to reveal the little red flannel succulent, pink, moist, titillating poodle type tongue. And then induced the dog itself to squat on its hind legs, as I will now demonstrate. <laughs> Can you all see the dog squatting? Well, just imagine the dog is squatting, because the next part you can understand really good. The dog is squatting, see, for those of you who can't see him squatting, and then the woo man goes over and Get the fuck out of sits way. on the dog's snout, making it go up inside of her mystery zone Little black poodle lips and all, including the whiskers and all the little hair on the chin and everything, as I will now demonstrate. Somehow or another, while she was down there, she managed to look deep into the eyes of this aforementioned poodle. And she said these words. Give me your dirty love Like a big donation to the dragon I don't want your sweet devotion I don't need your cheap emotion Pick me up a little bag of lotion For your dirty love That dirty love Your dirty love That dirty love Give me your dirty love like some tacky little pamphlet in your daddy's bound drawer. Give me your dirty love. I don't believe you never seen it done before. I don't want your reservation. Don't require your perspiration. I only got one destination, and that's your dirty love. That dirty love. Your dirty love. That dirty love. Just like your mama make that fuzz and go to the road. It makes your dirty love. Just like your mama make that last and go to the road. I'll ignore your cheap aroma, your little bow beat diploma. I'll just put you in a coma with some dirty love. That dirty love. That dirty love. That dirty love.
And the next song we have is about a subject that is very complex. This is a complex subject because it, this subject is higher education. Some of you may have already come in, into intimate contact with... I'll wait till later for that. Some of you might have already come into contact with higher education will probably understand these lyrics very well because the name of this song is You Are Going to Wind Up Working in a Gas Station. This is song might offend you, son. If it does, it's because you're dumb. That's the way it is when I come from. Been there too, let me see your thumb. 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 Show me your thumb if you really dumb. Show me your thumb if you really dumb. Show me your thumb if you really dumb. Show me your thumb if you dumb.
flies all green and buzzing in his dungeon of despair. An evil prince eats a steaming pig in a chamber right near there. He eats the snouts and the trotting spurs. The loins and the groins is soon dispersed. His carving style is well rehearsed. He stands and shouts. All men be cursed. All men be cursed. All men be cursed. All men be cursed. Men be cursed. And disagree. The best of cars are all the world. He's the best of cars of all the world. Something wrong been done, he done it first. Something wrong been done, he done it first. He stinks so bad, his bones been choking and been between his drops. In the night of the island sausage, where the torture never stops.
eyes all green and buzzing in his dungeon of despair. Who are all those people that he's locked away down there? Are they crazy?
It was the blackest night, there was no moon in sight You know the stars ain't shining cause the sky's too tight Heard the scary wind, I seen the ugly trees There was a werewolf walking along the side of me I mean and I'm bad, you know I ain't no sissy Got a big titty girly by the name Chrissy Talking about her in my bike and me And this ride up the mountain of Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee It was 11 o'clock upon a Friday night You know that her and me was feeling out of sight We had 20 reds and a big old pile of weed You know she drank some wine and then she LSD Chrissy puked twice and jumped on my bike She yelled, fire it up because you know what I like She burned her leg on the tailpipe then And yelled, shittery! It puked again Even the critics were acting weird up there So I figured I'd just drink a little beer I said, give me some of that, what you're sucking on But there was no reply, cause she was gone Where's those titties I like so well? And I got that beer is what I started to yell Then I heard this noise like a crunchy twig And up jumped the devil, he's about this big Red suit on and a widow's feet and then a pointed tail and like a sulfur ring. It was a him all right, I swear I know what it was. He had some human flesh stuck underneath his claws. You know it looked to me like it was titty skin. I said, you son of a bitch, cause I was mad at him. Well, he just got out his floss and started cleaning his fangs. So I shot him with my shooter said, bang, bang, bang. And the sucker just laughed and said, Put it away, you know I ain't a uh uh. Now what you gonna say? You ate my Chrissy? Yeah, tin is an all. Well, what about the beer then? Were the cans this tall? What about her boots? When I lied to you. Shit, you must have been hungry. Yeah, this is true. Well, don't they pay you good uh, for the stuff that you do? Well, you know, man, I can't complain when the checks come through. Well, I want my Chrissy and uh, I want my beer, so, so you just put it back out, boy. Do you hear? Listen, blow it out your ass, motorcycle man! I mean, I am the devil! Do you understand? Just what will you give me for your titties and beer? Why, I suppose you notice this little contract here? You're goddamn right, you son of a whore. Your mother. That's about the only reason I learned right and for. Give me that paper. You can bet your ass I'll sign. Because I need a beer and it's titty squeezing time. You can't fool me. You ain't that bad. 
me, you should have seen some of the souls that I've had. Why, there was Milhouse Nixon yeah. and Agnew too. And both of those suckers was wasn't you. Well, let's make a deal if you think that's true. Come I on, mean, man. come on, you're the devil. What you gonna do, huh? Wait a minute, you ain't supposed to want to make a deal. What, what's the trick Look, here? I'm gonna put it to you very succinctly. Yeah, that's you can have I'm... my soul. It's a mean little sucker about a thousand years old. That old. Once you get it, you can't give it back. You gotta keep it forever, and that's a natural fact. Now, hold on. I don't know about that. And you have to keep it in the icebox oh, next no. to the pickle. Hey, now, you know I ain't got no icebox where I live. Look, let me make myself perfectly clear, to coin a phrase. I'm a very simple-minded sort of a person. You know that. I mean, you can tell. What? No shit? That's right. Well, anyway, I'm very simple-minded. There's only a couple of things that really interest me, you know? I'm just a regular guy. I can go for some beer, a little hockey, a little basketball, a little football, some more beer, a little hockey. But mainly what I go for is tits, you know? It's a natural sort of a thing. <laughs> and, you know, you're leaving me here without any recreation tonight. I want those titties back, do you understand? Titties and beer, 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 titties and beer. No, 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 wait! Please! No! Don't sign it! Give me time to think! I mean, hold on a second, boy, cause that's magic in! And then the devil puked in, I'll get my girl. They heard the titties popping all around the world, she said. I got me three beers and a fistful of downs and I'm gonna get ripped, so fuck you clowns. And then she gave us the finger, rigid and stiff. That's when the devil, he farted and she went right over the cliff. Not pretty good, huh? The devil was mad, I took off to my pad. I swear I do declare, how did she get back there? I swear I do declare, how did she get back there? I swear I do declare, I should get back there. I swear I do declare, I should get back there. I swear I do declare, I should get back there. I swear I do declare, I should get back there. Alright, alright, alright. We got a song for you. That's, this is one of the one of the instrumental items on our new album, which is entitled Zoot Allures. This is a song for Michigan lovers only. The name of this song is Black Napkins.
Jobs on keyboards and violin. Thanks a lot for coming to the concert. Good night.